Uh, let me see if uh, Dice Gottfried is ready to come in. Dice Gottfried, everybody. I mean, not Dice Gottfried. What am I saying? I don't know. I, th I thought to myself, you spent all this time building him up as uh, Dracula Godfrey. Take two. Take two. <laughs> I'm thinking back to the and Channel 9 show. switch to Dice. Thank you. Nobody even stops me anymore. I don't know what you're doing. You better know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, here he is, Robin. Ophelia. <laughs> Dracula Godfrey. That's who I wanted to see. Here he comes. Oh, my God. Here he is. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. Look at him. He's beautiful. I must wear earphones to speak to you. <laughs> yes, you must wear earphones because you uh, would not be able to hear me speak that clearly. Am I correct? I hear you speaking clear. Very clear. You know how long I've been waiting for you, Dracula Gottfried? Millions and millions of lifetimes. And your secret, you know, you're not the most handsome man in the world, but, in fact, you might be the ugliest man in the world. But this Dracula thing makes you sexy, mm. huh? Hey, Gilbert, can you start doing the accent? <laughs> when you do this? Because you look good. No, no but in, in all seriousness... I thought, you know, this is Gilbert acting, you know? Right. It's just as bad as when he was acting with Jackie. Oh, this might be worse. <laughs> all right, wait a second. I'm thinking, i gotta get, I got to get Gilbert in a series where he plays Dracula. I'm going to make it happen. It's just going to happen. And Jackie will be just one of the characters. Right. Jackie's acting is very frightening. <laughs> He acts like the undead. Dracula Gottfried, you are the type of man who can look at a woman, hypnotize her. With your eyes. And then... Spread your legs open. <laughs> I want you to spread your legs open now. <laughs> right now. I was going to say... And give me your kluge. <laughs> I want your kluge. Now. <laughs> Give me your clue, Now. I was going to say before you interrupted me, Dracula Godfrey, that you are the only man alive that can hypnotize a woman, get her completely under your powers, and still not get laid. Isn't that true? <laughs> yes. I can live a thousand lifetimes and never get laid. There's still not a girl in the world for you. No. <laughs> still not. Man. It's amazing. Not one in the world. You know what scene I love the best you do? When you were in the movie. You met, do you know what scene I'm talking about? No. <laughs> Robin, you know what scene I'm talking about. I know about. your favorite scene. My favorite scene is uh, it's from that old Dracula movie. And I believe you're sitting there. Do you know what I'm talking about? Dracula, no. <laughs> What's the name of that movie? I don't guess to the movie smart. Are you talking about smart. the scene that we have from Ed Wood? No. No, the, the real movie, the real Dracula movie. Listen to them, the children, children of the night. That's it. What music they make. A spider spinning his web for an unwary fly. <laughs> the blood is the life, Mr. Enfield. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> so he did know what you were talking about. You're an amazing, amazing man. An amazing, You're amazing. amazing. You, in order to memorize that, you must have sat in front of your TV every Saturday night, and we just sat there and watched that. It's unbelievable. Is that correct? Yes. I don't drink blood on Yom Kippur. That's right. Dracula yeah. Gottfried. And you suck not only the blood out of people, but anything else you get, like a, a white shirt yes. or anything, a pajamas. A with white the, shirt. Right. Craft links. Anything, anything, anything that you anything can get. I could suck out of anyone. In other words, that shirt that we bought you for the scout, that you will take that home with you. Michael. I will take it home and sell it. <laughs> right, <laughs> Dracula Godfrey, Robin. <laughs> Show me your clue now. Are you hypnotizing Robin? Yes. Yeah, he, he is. Look into his eyes for a second, All Robin. Right, I'm looking. Show me your dark. Clue I want to see it now. <laughs> Look at that. Pants coming off. Good for you. No, Jackie's pants are coming off. Yeah, it's not working on me, but it's working on me. <laughs> now, uh, as Dracula, that means this is a rare appearance. We had to sneak you into your coffin because you have to, of course, sleep well, during the day. Well, it's daytime. Yeah, but we're in the studio, so it's I okay. See no, see? Or no natural light. Artistic license. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, this is exciting to see Dracula Godfrey. Where 
very exciting. Will Dracula huh? Godfrey to be appearing anywhere soon? Dracula Godfrey will be unmarried with children. Oh. Coming this Sunday. Is that right? Yes. This Sunday, married with children, with Christine Applegate. So I looked at and said, take off your panties now. Did it work? And we had sex together. Oh. <laughs> many, many times. I think somebody drove a wooden stake into your material. Is that true? I think, yeah, this, this outfit is making him unfunny. Yeah, right. <laughs> it wasn't my idea. It was mine. Yeah. It was my idea. <laughs> it was a stupid idea. I'm starting to be considerate. Dracula Godfrey. Everybody loves him so much. Yes. The, the Jewish Dracula. <laughs> and uh, you, you went on Married with Children, and uh, Christina Applegate ignored you, too, didn't she? Yes. <laughs> was she hot in person? She was hot in person. And how long a shoot was this? I mean, was it one day? Uh, it was one week. Oh, one week of well, rehearsal? it felt like a lifetime. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> I can what imagine. What does uh, Dracula Godfrey play on Married with Children? Yeah. A Jew. <laughs> <laughs> a miserable, blood-sucking Jew. Unbelievable. Well, by the way, uh, for those of you who like this Dracula Godfrey uh, routine, uh, the Jewish vampire, tomorrow we're going to have the Polish Invisible Man. <laughs> and He's perfectly visible. Perfectly visible. You can see him. It's unbelievable. The Polish Invisible Man. He's supposed to be undead, not unfunny. <laughs> uh, now, wait a second. Could you resurrect your humor? <laughs> Dracula Godfrey, uh, so many great things. Tell me what you say when you see a victim for the first time. When you look into their eyes and you see a victim, how do you seduce your victim? Take us, take us into the room when you are alone with one of your victims. Would you like to have sex with a dead man? <laughs> Would you like to hold my cold member in your hand? Oh. <laughs> I think it's time to buy him free breakfast. <laughs> Get him that egg, that stupid yeah, egg sandwich. Shut him up. All right, Robin, let's do this. Uh, Dracula Godfrey. Are we going to be allowed to speak to regular Godfrey? Gilbert? Yeah, Gilbert. Gilbert here? I don't know. Are you going to stay in character the whole time, you think? No. <laughs> good. No. All right, good. He's dying I, to break I, I think this was the biggest mistake you've <laughs> ever made. <laughs> It looks really good. It, it, it was a good it was a good idea for about a second. No, come on, it's yeah. funny. It's yeah. funny. It was funny. Yeah. But I don't want to spend the whole day was, with you, was, Dracula. Was this funny for even five seconds? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> five seconds. Yeah. 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 <laughs> when I walked in, it was funny. <laughs> Two dice vampires. Yeah. <laughs> Is there such a thing as dice and oh, dice yeah. vampire? Heck, I read dick, I read dice. Got mouse ran up there. Oh. <laughs> I wanted you, pal. A homo. You ever like dick, 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 you? There you go. <laughs> I'll figure out what to do with this makeup. <laughs> All right, let me take a break. Let's do some. You want to sit in with the news with us? Sure, why you not? You like doing that. We'll have uh, Gilbert Gottfried with us. Who was dressed as Dracula. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> Chuck, you tuned in light. You did uh, Married with Children, huh? That's a pretty oh, good Oh, yeah. Movie. And who you do you know? play? Seriously. I, the same thing I always like do. Like an obnoxious yes. guy? Yes. What are, you, what are you selling something? Yeah. Are yeah. you a salesman? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, do you really play a Joe? <laughs> I, do, do you try to get a date with Christina Applegate? Is that the premise? No, I didn't have one scene with Christina Applegate. What do you do? Like, what, what's the scene? I mean, what's, what's the setup? I'm actually playing me. Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's Why? They, they get caught. This is the most ridiculous thing. No, that's all right. Go ahead. Stuck in you think stuck? No, I like it. I like yes. the Dracula look. Yeah. yeah. It's a good look for me. So for what me, it looks healthy. Yeah. I, I think yeah. he looks terrific. Yeah. Like, you almost look attractive. <laughs> so you, you know, I mean, he does, doesn't he? Like he came alive. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Maybe look, you should wear white makeup all the time. He's usually so pale. This actually looks like a tan. All this makeup. <laughs> it looks all right. It's purple skin. <laughs> no, what do you mean? Like, in other words, tell me what the characters do to meet Gilbert Gottfried, the famous comedian. How does that all work? Uh, they're on a cruise. Yeah. And the uh, ship sinks. And they're stuck on a life raft with me. Oh, because you're oh, the ship yeah, comedian? Yes. Oh, well, I Well, that makes sense. I was wondering where you would go to meet Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah, on a yes. ship. A lot of people want that. Like Gilbert plays a cruise. Right. Yes. Yeah. Like he would do. Like 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 he's so mainstream that people would want to see him on a cruise. What cruise is that? 
How many other comedians did they get to do turn down the part before you went and did it? <laughs> Were you the first choice? Yakko Shmirnov had already turned yeah, it down. Yeah, right. He took it. I mean, that's totally ludicrous. I don't think Gilbert's ever, ever been asked to cruise, play a cruise. Yeah. Have you ever done a cruise? No. 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 Because you're not mainstream enough. Yeah. Gallagher turned down the spot already. People who go on cruises are into, like, you know, traveling salesman jokes. Yes, when Jackie Vernon was still alive. Yeah, right. They would go there. I mean, this is this must have taken place. It's married with children the day after the world ended, and they're on a cruise. <laughs> Something is the cruise to hell. Yeah, and the only comedian left is Gilbert Godfrey. Here's some slides from my vacation. <laughs> yeah. What is it, uh, Papa Pui? When you talk about yeah. you know, when you talk about Gilbert not being you know mainstream and stuff, I, I think he's Papa really funny. Have you ever heard the story about um, Gilbert opening up for Belinda Carlisle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the best. But one time, I guess somebody who represented the Go-Go's uh -huh. <laughs> felt that, like, maybe they should get a comedian to open up for the Go-Go's. Instead of another band. Yeah. But it wasn't Gilbert. The guy they got, whoever it was, got sick, and they needed Gilbert at the last yeah. minute. Yeah. It's usually, that's how it works. Yeah. Who's the other guy? <laughs> it was like a mainstream guy. So, you know, you don't that's how I got a lot. I've been to like, yeah, right. I've been to like a Go-Go's concert. Like, it's all young girls. Right. With their mothers. With their yeah. moms. So, Gilbert walks out. And well, he's not getting a laugh. First, first, the guy told me there's a, there's a lot of little kids here with their parents. Right. So you should watch your material. <laughs> right. So for about five minutes, I tried to be clean. And, yeah. and he really made an effort, but like it was like you know the crickets were heard in the background. Yeah, nothing right. was happening. You know, it's just it's just bad. Five five minutes into it, every vagina joke known to yeah. me. Gilbert, and I mean dirty, filthy. I did jokes Jackie wouldn't do. Yeah, right. It was just like, he wouldn't lower himself I, to do these jokes. Right. I saw a transcript of what Gilbert did in National Lampoon. Every third word started with the letter C. Is that right? <laughs> no, it did. The C word for a woman's private yeah. party. It was yeah. unbelievable. So far. To these little girls. Did yes. you get, and did they boo you off? And get, did you get thrown out? <laughs> what happened? That's why I like you, because you're brave. Yes. <laughs> I'm mean, stupid. Yeah, I don't know. What, <laughs> what happened? Don't laugh did, at Gilbert. Did, Gilbert did you, turn on Did you. you get yelled at by the manager and stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's and, why I love him. Did they get the hook and pull you off? Yeah, did you actually get, like, the, the yeah, lights go down? People are standing off to the sides, and I'm just getting filthier and filthier, and they're, like, like looking, like... <laughs> In shock. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what else is funny? Did you get paid? Oh, oh yeah. 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 But they were, like... Get off. Yeah, they're Get just off. like waving their hand, you know. The other funny story is that uh, Tom Shiasano, our general manager, booked Gilbert. What did you book him for I again? I booked him at a uh, New York City Broadcasters, Radio Broadcasters Association. Oh, thing. that was the worst. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know what happened? Yes. Tom always over the years heard Gilbert on our show and yeah. always saw I Gilbert too. Yeah. He loves That's Gilbert. Right. Tom loves Gilbert, which you wouldn't know from looking at Tom. I yeah. think Tom says he loves Gilbert but doesn't really understand Gilbert's jokes. <laughs> no, not true. But not I, true. you really do laugh yeah, at Gilbert? Absolutely, I think right. he's right. So anyway, because he doesn't look like your typical fan. Yes. Right. right. All right. Or maybe he does. We don't. I know. think Tom does it to be hip. But anyway, <laughs> so it's sort of like he's the comedian's comedian, Gilbert. So Tom decides he's going to book Gilbert. He looks like he's wearing the Dracula. No. <laughs> <laughs> you ought to go back to your old hairstyle. Everyone tells me you look terrible. On it's TV. like Dracula yeah. and Sun here. Yeah. 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 I, I'm telling you what people say behind your back. Okay. Because we were watching the Ralph show on the way down Atlantic City, you know, the one, and you come in. Everyone goes, "What happened to Tom's hair? He's like bald now, and you know, you aged poorly, and you didn't. It just it, that hair doesn't so work it, for you." You know, it's interesting because what happened the first time Tom appeared on the TV show was people faxed in and said, "What have you guys been talking about? You always said Tom was good looking." And he is good looking. And it just doesn't come across with this new hairdo. If I had Tom's face and my brain, there'd be no stopping me. I would have been in the movies ten years ago. Right? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to look like Tom? Seriously. Oh, yeah. Who wouldn't? Yeah, look at that nose. Turn to the side. Let me see that profile. Look at that. Oh, that's a Gentile nose. Oh, that's past Gentile. Yeah. Don't, don't block my camera. It's beyond Gentile. That's not a nose job, is it? No. Wow. Nope. He was born Genetic. Like Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. If I was you, I'd go back to my old hairstyle. Show my, just sew my mouth shut and just keep going through life, man. Have fun. But anyway, so Tom decides to book this convention of uh, uh, broadcasters. Now, you got to understand something. Outside of New York, broadcasters are really square. Yeah. Well, this is in New York. This is a New York group. Yeah. Oh, it was all New Yorkers? I, I, yeah. I, I thought this was going to be like some hip crowd. You know? But yeah. you mean it was the yeah. whole state of broadcasting? No, no, no. It was, just, it was New York City radio okay. stations and um, it was up at Westchester Country Club. Oh, and it was a the end of a golf and tennis day. Oh, and it was oh, funny, out, funny, funny. Oh, and it was outside, and there's this little <laughs> and there's this little band shell that Gilbert's got to go in and and, and play to the crowd. It, it from. looked like that scene from Godfather too. <laughs> I don't know how you could be a stand-up comedian. Yeah. It's, it's so oh, humiliating. That's a horrible job. You got to go make those people it laugh. It actually looked like a big shell. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's an outdoor shell. Yeah, it actually yeah. was. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah. He get, Gilbert gets up. 
And this crowd is, is very social. They're all talking among one another. And Gilbert Conception is, is doing clean jokes. Right. Nobody's paying attention. Ignoring. And Gilbert, <laughs> Gilbert immediately goes to the vagina joke. <laughs> right. You know? and, and I'm sitting there, and I'm laughing my head off. But these he guys does, are freaking. No, and everybody's freaking. Right. Gilbert does this 20 minutes or whatever it is, finally walks, you know, the keys and I, the car. I climbed and the over the hedge. Yes. Did you? I didn't want to walk. <laughs> you didn't want to house. I wanted to get away. <laughs> there was a big hedge there. Because they'd right. gone so badly? Climbed over. Yes. Oh, you, mean, yeah. you mean literally they were booing him and stuff? No, no, nobody booed. But they they were staring. Left. They had no idea what was going on. Yeah. Silence is the best so the obvious way out is to walk through the house. <laughs> yeah. But you climb over I hedges. Yeah, I didn't even did. want to bother. I just go <laughs> that long walk. So I climbed over this big hedge that was near did the house. Did you see him do it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Did the whole audience see him do it? I, I don't know if the whole audience did, because, but I had booked him. It was my responsibility. <laughs> I'm going to have to say, Gilbert, thanks. You know, I know it. And all of a sudden, he's gone, walking through hedges. Through the and did you say to him, hey, I'm sorry it didn't go well? Or... Uh, who could talk? He's like uh, running through bushes. Yeah. Really? He's like, I guess you paid him already. He's like huh? OJ leaving Bundy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Gilbert, how embarrassing is it being you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Fantastic. I, so the mat, a couple of the managers of the other stations came up to me. Some oh. real conservative guys going. <laughs> If that were me, I'd have pulled them off the stage after the first oh, really? vagina joke. So you were, like, really in bad shape. And what yeah. possesses you to do a vagina joke? I mean, is it is there something inside you go, I know these guys hate me. Yes. And I am now going to foul their mind. I, I figured, what the hell, there's nothing to lose. Let's go for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. O only, I, I wouldn't even use the word vagina. Right, that yeah, would be that would be too clean. Yeah, that, right. that, that's that would too be polite. Nice. That would be for their kids. Right. <laughs> no, you know, actually, yeah, I was trying to clean it up. Wow. It was right. It was a, 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 So forever we are bound. Well, there you go, Gilbert. <laughs> and then I had people coming over to me afterwards, like Tom, who were going, no, no, I thought it, it worked very well. Yeah. And, yeah. You're, and you're climbing over the hedges. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. climbing over the hedges. <laughs> it's thicker than the hedge. Here's this five-foot guy climbing yeah. through his six-foot hedge. And, you know, right. Gilbert's not exactly athletic for him to climb over <laughs> that hedge. It must have been hard for me amazing. to get on stage. All right, here's what I need yeah. to do. I need to take a break. We need to get right into the news, because I haven't talked to you in so long. I don't know what you're thinking about, OJ. There's yeah. obviously a lot of excitement in the room when you're here, and uh, we will speak again, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, must have plenty of O.J. material. And it's funny anyway, just to and stare at him. And then there's the Greg Luganis thing that just happened today. Must Wasn't be that really shocking? That was very shocking. <laughs> were you shocked to find out that Greg Luganis has AIDS? Yes, I was very shocked. Yeah, I we all were no stunned. No idea he was a homosexual. Yeah, none. Me yeah. neither. I'm, I'm bad at picking them out. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how he got it. Yeah. Did you see that in the newspaper? It said, Luganis did not comment on how he got AIDS. Yes. Maybe it was bad meat in a can. Yeah, I mean, exactly. You know, you know, like botulism. And then I'm sure all the other athletes are very happy that he had an open sore one time when he went swimming in the pool. Yeah. He and said then, he bled in the pool. And how about the doctor who had to stitch him up and didn't wear gloves because he figured, hey. Yeah. He's no homo. <laughs> he's no homo. There you go. I'll stitch him. He's not a homo. Let's take a break and we'll be back with Dracula Godfrey. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Gilbert stepped out of the room. He started panicking during the commercials. He decided that he wanted to take his makeup off. Really? It's so weird. Yeah. He really had one of those things? Yeah. He was like, uh, don't you think I should take off my makeup now? I said, no, nah, it's funny. You look funny. Uh, I think I really should. So, because Ralph came in and fixed him up, and then all of a sudden he goes, why are you doing this? I want to take it off. Oh. So now he ran into the bathroom, and he's taking off his makeup because he feels stupid. He does that dumb show up all night. And there's all kinds of stupid things on there. Yeah. So now he's feeling stupid. I thought it was it was going to be funny to have him sitting there acting like a regular person. Yeah, like he never knows what's funny. That's his problem. <laughs> Wasn't it funny? Yeah. Him dressed as Dracula. I thought he was out there getting touched up. I didn't no, know. no, he panicked and went into the bathroom. So you know what? I didn't what, want to deal what with it. What image is he trying to protect? He goes, "It was your idea to put me in this makeup." Oh, mm. now he thinks it's like that night with Tom out at that country, yeah. country club. He's bombing. Uh -oh. Yeah, he thought he was bombing, but he wasn't bombing. He was no. funny. Oh. Great. I was kidding about his material, but it was funny. Anyway. Oh, well. Getting sensitive on us. So I don't, you know what? I said to Ralph, just do what he wants. Take off the stupid makeup. I'm not going to deal with it. Oh, here he's back. Oh, I decided to come back and did transformation. You're funny. <laughs> What's You're, wrong with you? you? You freak out over the silliest things. You, you make a total jackass out of yourself on Up All Night, and then you yeah. come in here. You, <laughs> hey, do you have a tan? <laughs> he kind of looks like he has a tan under there. I look like I have skin cancer. And now you do. It's like white teeth. Now it's really funny. There. What happened? You panicked on me and you yes. ran out. 
What happened? Now, now I look like Dracula when the sun hit him. Yeah. yeah just on, before just he burned like, up. Yeah. <laughs> you can keep the shirt. No, I... <laughs> what? What happened? I wanted to see if I could make it to the elevator. No, because it reminds me of all those times, like one time I saw Fred Travelina. Right. On <laughs> Kathy and Regis Philbin dressed up like Jack Nicholson. Right. And the bit immediately tanked. Right. In the first two minutes. Yeah, but you was... didn't tank. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't tank. You, you pulled it off. You thought this worked well? I, I thought it worked remarkably well. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. You know, he is so insecure. Yeah. But as soon as you put it I, I, on That's the Channel 9 show... He got a flashback of other comedians bombing dressed up in funny outfits. On the Channel 9 show, he did such a funny Dice Clay, and it was the height of Dice mania, that yeah. I said, come on as Dice. He came on as Dice, he killed. He, we had a homosexual comedian on who sweated, and oh. Gilbert made fun of the whole time, and oh. it was unbelievably I funny. I thought that that poor guy was going to wind up in a puddle on the floor he was sweating. And Gilbert was sure that he bombed, because, yeah. because it was my idea for him to dress up as Dice. <laughs> Hey, you're funny. Great. You did not bomb. Yeah. And you in that costume is funny. You can yes. say nothing funny, and it's funny. Yes. I do say nothing funny. That's true. Yeah. Let me see. You, got, you see, you even got a fax. Here, listen. Howard, Gilbert is the reason that people hate Jews. <laughs> he is loud. <laughs> he is loud, annoying, and has the typical money-lending-like attitude. <laughs> no, not lending. Oh, no, it's no, money... I, oh, excuse yeah. me, money-lending kike attitude. Oh. <laughs> I thought that said like. He's probably a faggot, too. Oh, no. <laughs> I bet he was in a threesome with Barry, Fairy, Ralph, and that butt-diver Luganus. <laughs> Soon we'll have to change his name to Gilbert Godades. He shouldn't worry about... He shouldn't worry about losing his last name, though, because soon O.J. will be using it with that jury. You know, Gottfried. Oh, got freed. <laughs> and what about that jury? It must look like the unemployment office in the jury room. Grape soda and Kentucky Fried Chicken hot wings everywhere. Oh. What the hell is going on in the world? <laughs> signed Marsha Clark. Oh, <laughs> Actually, it's signed by Rabbi Schwartz, <laughs> whoever he is. <laughs> Actually, it's not even signed. And one time I saw a comedian on Friday Night Videos dressed up as Cher. Oh, really? So she couldn't get out of the Cher character. <laughs> right. And Louis Anderson was on plugging his book about his alcoholic father. <laughs> you know, let us, and he was going, you know, my father would come home drunk and beat me and my mother. And yeah, but she was going, oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> sure. I know it was. It was Judy Tenuta, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> As Louis Anderson talks about, Louis Anderson, a real funny guy, sitting there talking about his alcoholic father beating him. Oh. I would hide in the closet when he beat my mother. And, and meanwhile, there's some Judy's in a, a share outfit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah babe. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm telling you is that's funny. That's you as the same kind of you thing. as Dracula is funny. Even the idea of you sitting there talking as Gilbert just as Dracula. Is funny. <laughs> that's right. Now go back and put your makeup on. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's do some news with Gilbert Gottfried. Gilbert, you want to plug oh. anything? Give me the plug. Yes. He always does that. Yes. Married with children this Sunday on Fox. Friday, Gilbert at Catch a Rising Star at the Hyatt in Princeton, New Jersey. And Saturday, Catch a Rising Star at Governor Morris Hotel in Morristown, New Jersey. Ooh, Gilbert, very busy. And he, will you be wearing your Dracula yes, costume? Yes, yes. <laughs> no, I'll be wearing my Lon Chaney Jr. outfit. Okay, let's send Gilbert out on the street as Dracula. And let, him, let him talk to oh, people. Oh, walk around. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I am Dracula Godfrey. Nice to meet you, young Negroes. <laughs> I am a friend of the Negro peoples. I like the way you dance and the rhythm that you're born with. <laughs> I think he should go out as Jewish Dracula. <laughs> yeah, Jewish Dracula. You could take an O.J. poll as Dracula. <laughs> Do you think O.J. is guilty? Do you think he's a violent, murderous Negro? <laughs> Do you just support him because he is a Schwarzer? <laughs> You'll get killed. <laughs> He is an animal. What if you went? What if, what if you went out on the street? Seriously, now let's just talk this out. You thought? Oh this boy, was... another good idea. Wait, yeah. wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I like this idea. Oh, okay. No, no, Showing no, up as Dracula. But you can't call black people enough. Negroes. They get mad. If you went up to a black person and said, "Hello, I am Dracula Godfrey, and I am here to take a poll," then they go, "Feet don't fail me now." <laughs> oh, I done seen 
a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go straight up in the air. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to kill me. Stop doing it. So wait a second. If he did, why is he walking around? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody done turned into a bat, and it wasn't me. You know, we ought to meet the like, you know what? Black people ought to hold the tribunal, meet all the white directors that that painted black that, that way. They wrote that junk, you know, like, like big dumb black people who can't figure out that it's not a real Dracula. But anyway, can't you go up to people on the street and go like, "Hello, I am Dracula Godfrey." Yes, I am Count Dracula. Yeah, I am taking a poll. Do you think O.J. is guilty or no, 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 no. innocent? Do you think O.J. is innocent or is he the guilty animal <laughs> hunted? The thirsty <laughs> animal who caught up in the throat of an innocent girl. <laughs> what do you think? Did you, did you, did you pull, <laughs> did that pull that off? I, I think it's one of those things that sounds funny up here. Oh, no, it's going to be real funny. <laughs> Would you do it? I, I'm not going to ask you to do something you don't want to do. But oh, I yeah. Think, <laughs> would you do that? Hey, come on. This would be great. <laughs> ask, ask Jackie what he thinks. I think it's funny. I think it couldn't miss. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think it could miss. I'll send you out with, I'll send you with the camera crew. The Dracula pole. Yeah, and then we'll listen now, to it from up here. Send it with a baseball bag. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, what if you went, you know, I am Dracula Gottfried. Yes. You know, nothing like too racial. Like you go, <laughs> I am asking yes. people today what they think. Of the O.J. Do you think he is innocent or guilty? Did he cut the throats of two people? Yeah, don't get into the racial stuff. What about the blood? And you can even say to him, Are you voting this way because you are are black? (laughs) Black as night. (laughs) Black as the low steps of hell. Black. 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 You are black. Black as a nightmare. We're not doing the racial stuff. Black as my cave. Black as Transylvania. <laughs> I mean, can you do it without slipping into like the heavy racial stuff? Because otherwise you get beat up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I believe thanks. that Gilbert will be as as politically correct as possible. You're right. Looking yeah. Into be like, the face Hello, gentle of person. People on the street. Hello, Mr. Black or African American. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. African. My name is Dracula Godfrey. <laughs> Do you say O.J. is innocent because you are black? Blacker than my cape in the deepest cave of Transylvania. (laughs) Blacker than the thoughts of a psychotic killer. (laughs) Why didn't Dracula ever bite black people? Because he he had taste. (laughs) (laughs) I couldn't resist. May I ask you... You just handed me a punchline on a plate. (laughs) Why don't you go out... Seriously, would you do it? But without going, don't, don't go into the racial stuff so you don't get your ass beat. Yeah. <laughs> or do it if you feel it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you feel bra- I'll send you out there. Like, I'll listen through here. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have a microphone in your hand. I'll have a camera on you, too. Picture it. And if, and if you hear a fist coming toward my face. Well, it's up to you. I mean, yeah. you, feel, you, you feel comfortable doing it? Just tell me. You'll be out there with the camera crew with St. John and Gorilla with Gilbert's you. Gilbert's a weird guy. I can never oh, figure God. out if he wants to do something. Sure he does. It'll be great. Do you, uh, you want to do it? Or is this uh, Gilbert harassment? I'll throw in another shirt. Oh, be, yeah. I, I don't want to force you oh, to do boy, it. Oh, boy, you'll throw in another shirt. <laughs> I think it'd be funny. Do you want to do it? This looks like it was sewn right before I got here. You want to do it or not? I think I'll skip this one. Will you? Oh. Yeah. Oh. It would have been a classic. It would have been a classic. Offer more. No. Offer more. <laughs> throw in a TV player. No, yeah. I think he's afraid to do it. He thinks he's going to look stupid or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> are, you, uh. are you worried physically or professionally? Oh. Uh, both. <laughs> no, professionally, I've given up on. Right. Yeah. I can't imagine that you still have professional yeah, qualms. Professional, forget about it. He's like he's physically physically with you. Oh, whenever I come up with an idea for Gilbert, he always thinks he it's dumb. It. And meanwhile, it ends up being a classic yeah. that people talk about yeah. for years. He questions. He becomes like so big. Like he could fill stadiums just being Dracula Godfrey after this bit. <laughs> but he will never be convinced that I know what's good for him. <laughs> he will never be convinced. If I was your producer. Yes. You would be the hottest thing in the country. You don't know your own strength. Yeah. You're like a, a basketball player that decides to play baseball. 
Am well, I right? Try it, Gilbert. No. I mean, how could it be bad to do it once? He doesn't see the humor in it. He doesn't realize how funny it would be. Uh... Mm. You in a I'm Dracula kidding. costume, okay. interviewing, interviewing black people, black people about, about the OJ. OJ. And them looking at you like you're crazy. <laughs> okay. That's funny. <laughs> Let me ask you about OJ. All right, I'll try it. You will? I'll, I'll try it with four black people. Okay, I good. Have a All right, good. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Robin. Uh... I yeah. have a question. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Do you think this will work at all? <laughs> I know it will. <laughs> I'm going to be hysterical. Wait, well, can Jackie? Jackie doesn't know a, a thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah. But just imagine, yeah. first yeah. of all, you're going to get the reaction because you're standing out there right. as Dracula. This is and a guy. The, yeah. I, the absurd idea of Dracula doing a poll. Yeah. This is a guy who is as brilliant as Charlie Chaplin, but he's got the management of Judy Tenuta. Yeah. <laughs> He just doesn't get what's, it, what's good. I think he's managing himself. Yeah. All right, Gary, take, before Gilbert changes his mind. Yeah, All right. i got to have people. the Dracula makeup touched up. No, this is funny the way you look now. No, 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 you slap no. that white makeup on. All right, get the, yeah, yeah. All right go out now okay. and quickly, uh, Scott, get the microphone set up and get, and, get, uh, and, get, and get Gilbert out on the street immediately. <laughs> quickly, take off your headphones, too. Hey, Gilbert, hey, Gilbert, hey, Gilbert <laughs> enjoy your career move. <laughs> you know it's going to be funny. Who was it who fixed up the outfit? And if you want... If you... Boy, we spared no expense, <laughs> did we? Gary, you get the idea? Yeah. All right. Do you think that's funny? It's not even a question. I know. You're asking Gary. Right. Take off your headphones. Take off the headphones, Gilbert. Take off your headphones. I got my headphones on. Yeah, now, right. Ra do you want him to be made up again? Because mm -hmm. Ross said it's going to take a little while, or should no, we just, just get him on the street? Just slap it on quick. On. You do it. Forget Ralph. <laughs> don't forget Ralph. You I'm just not, slap I'm it on him. I'm not in the union, but I'll try. Yeah, he's not either. <laughs> Quickly go do that. Let's do some news while right. uh, Gilbert's getting made up. But, you know, we really spared no expense on that outfit. That cape is about... <laughs> As Ten thin as a, a piece of plastic. No. And he's got those regular old old man pants that he wears yeah. instead of a nice pair of pants. That's funny. It's a funny outfit. Not even <laughs> it's hysterical. You want to do a little news while uh, Gilbert's getting yes, ready? Absolutely. Okay. First of all, let me say that uh, everybody, the big news today, of course, um, supplanting OJ as lead story is the Greg Luganis story, the uh, Olympic. Champion diver who uh, did something that no other diver has done in history. He won back-to-back uh, -back gold medals <laughs> in the Olympics in 1984 and 85, sweeping the diving category. And yeah. now he, uh, last year, came out and admitted that he was gay, which everybody knew, except him. <laughs> I guess people were telling him all of his life, you're gay. Yeah. And he was like, no, 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 I'm not. But anyway, he finally admitted to being gay last year. And this year, he says that he has AIDS. He basically was diving where no man usually dives. <laughs> well, no wonder he was so good in the pool. Yeah, straight in. He had practice. But, I, you know, with these yearly revel revelations, I wonder what next year will bring. <laughs> I don't know. He dove into the wrong guy. That's all I can say. Somehow or other. But anyway, he is going to reveal all of this to Barbara Walters. And here's a, a little excerpt. Boy, is she lucky. Of his appearance on 2020 okay. this Friday. You are now admitting for the first time that you are HIV positive. Uh -huh. Yes. Do you have AIDS? Um, obviously, the guy looks a hundred years old, Barbara. Why don't you torture him a little? He's almost bald and looks a hundred years old. Yeah, yeah. What do you <laughs> think he has? He's HIV positive. What do you think he has? But HIV positive doesn't mean you have full-blown AIDS. Yeah. That's what she's asking. Take a look at him. According to the CDC standards of um, AIDS versus HIV, I do have AIDS. <laughs> oh, Jack. Jackie. Very, very tasteless. <laughs> the most hysterical thing to me, though, is that he pauses like he didn't know this question was coming. Yeah. He came on this interview to tell everybody, oh. and it's like Barbara all of a sudden came up with a great question. Gay guys love him, too, ma'am, because he's got such a gorgeous body. Oh, slim his body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was an athlete who was beloved by all. So Except now... Fred. He doesn't love anybody. <laughs> So now he's saying that uh, he has AIDS and he has decided to come out and tell everyone. He's had it. He's known he's had it since 1988 uh, when he was making his second Olympic appearance. 
He had a, a manager and friend. I knew he who, had it. Who uh, had AIDS, and then he went and got tested, and it turned out that he was HIV positive. He knew he was HIV IV positive at the time he was competing, and when he uh, had that mishap in a warm-up dive where he um, hit his head on the diving board upon entering, or uh, just before entering the pool, splitting his head open and requiring, what, five or six stitches to close up the wound. So there was a big question as to how he handled that whole situation. What did it feel like knowing that he had just, uh, you know, he was HIV positive and now he was bleeding? Hmm. What were his concerns? Here's uh, Greg Luganis again. Okay. I hope this is what he'll be talking Who about. Who knows? <laughs> Some people don't think that AIDS has touched their lives. Um, a lot of people saw me at the Olympics and they were cheering for me. Um, so now all of those people can't say that they have not been affected by AIDS. Yes. Hmm. Did Greg Luganis ever talk a little bit more forcefully? I think that was his tone all along. Yeah. You, you think he's just getting so weak he can't talk? <laughs> no, not weak. Uh, I think, you know, just now that I'm gay, let me just... You know, let me talk gay. <laughs> but, no, uh, I think that was pretty much his uh, way. That was it all yeah. the time. So anyway, yeah, he's saying that uh, people can't any longer say that they've never been touched by AIDS. Everyone knows someone who has HIV. Oh, we're all going to get it. Scott, what's going on with... Uh... He's going down now. Oh, he's going down now? Oh, i got to see this. Yes. So let's finish up the Greg Lugana stuff. Play that next uh, piece there. I didn't anticipate hitting my head on the board. Oh, whoa. No, now he's sounding real gay. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I thought so. The word anticipate. <laughs> I didn't anticipate. Yeah, no, no, no. Now he's definitely more gay. All right. I didn't anticipate, you know, blood. Um, that's something that you don't... I didn't think about at the time. See, I never remember him sounding like that. No, 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 you're, you're, no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but he's claiming that, you know, he never thought, of course, you know, diving's not a contact sport. You don't usually think of bleeding when well, you're diving into it. Well, this is why, and I know it's a distasteful subject, that um, we have to consider the fact that AIDS patients must be identified because this doctor who was un unknowingly sitting and stitching up uh, Greg Luganis and was exposed to his blood was also exposed to... You know, potential AIDS himself because he could have had a cut on his hand or he could have cut himself in the stitching process. And Greg Luganis, had he been really brave, would have said, you know what, sir, I've got to tell you something. I, I have HIV and I would hope that you would wear some gloves or at least be uh, very aware of it. I mean, come on. What, what's that all about? I mean, this doctor probably has a wife and family and kids, or maybe maybe he's gay himself. I would have had a hard time explaining to everybody, yeah, I got it from stitching up, Greg Luganis. Yeah, who's going to buy that? <laughs> You know, at least Greg Luganis had some fun, if that's your idea of fun, getting the AIDS. This doctor wasn't having any fun stitching him up. Finally, you have another tape of Greg Luganis, yes. the hero. I'm doing okay. I, I'm doing all right. Um, Health-wise, you know, everything seems to be stable and that sort of thing. Um, I still have uh, bouts of depression. But um, I'm working on that. Jackie has thoughts of depression. That's why he's laughing. Yeah, everybody's got that. Right. <laughs> so anyway, a doctor who uh, was asked about this the situation of Greg diving into the pool and, and bloodying himself says that the chlorine would have inactivated yeah. the AIDS virus. So the other divers were not at risk. But as you said, the doctor certainly was. Well, Robin, out on our street right now is Dracula Godfrey. Is he out there? Uh, he's been remade up, and he's out on the street. No right, wonder. Right, he's got a full cape and uh, <laughs> and with, 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 with. I pull this up. Oh, there he is. Hi. Hello. Dracula Godfrey? That's John. Why am I not talking to Dracula Godfrey? Hello? Yes. Dracula Godfrey? Yeah. Oh, we're in search of black people. They're running from. <laughs> they're running from stuttery John. I think they're running from you, Gilbert. Now remember, Gilbert, you're Dracula Godfrey. Okay. And you're going to ask about the OJ trial. Yes. All right. I get the premise. Right. <laughs> and it is funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you can do an interview. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 
Soldering John says we have some Negroes coming. Yeah, but you better not say <laughs> that to their oh, face. Down, Drac. You're going to get your ass kicked. You know. <laughs> They're all saying no. They all say They're no? They're shaking their heads. <laughs> have you shown <laughs> yourself to He is looking for Negroes. To speak to Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> I like the premise. I like the setup. Oh, I think oh, we've got some. Uh oh. I think he has found a black person. <laughs> <laughs> he must have because he's a not black saying... person with a box uh -huh. who is afraid. He has a box that he must deliver. <laughs> oh. He is thinking, will I lose my job if I don't deliver the box on time? <laughs> <laughs> I must deliver this box. Now, Gilbert, is he coming up to you? He, he, he is a guy who can either be black or Indian. He doesn't care. All right, let's try him. Mr. Murphy's black. I bid you welcome. Tell him who you are. I am Gilbert Dracula Gottfried. You are a black man, are you not? Yeah. Do you believe that O.J. Simpson is innocent? He's innocent. How can you believe that he is innocent? He didn't kill his wife. He did not kill his wife, even though his blood ran over their bodies. <laughs> Do you still believe, even though he was found with the knife, and with the blood, and with the fingerprints, that O.J. Simpson is innocent? I know he is innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Ask him who did it then. Well, who did he well, think? Well, who exactly did this then? Somebody else. <laughs> Are you saying maybe a white man killed them? I didn't say that. I'm All not right. a racial guy. Ask him, isn't it true that you are siding with O.J. because he's black? Okay. Are you siding with O.J. because he is a black man like yourself? No. No. I think he's innocent because why should he kill his wife? Even though he's jealous, so why should he kill his wife? Why should a man kill his wife at all? Well, ah, there is logic to this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He must all right. be innocent. All right, send him on his way. All right. Well, I thank you. We have more black people. Good. <laughs> Dracula <laughs> Godfrey. Yes. All right, one more for Dracula Godfrey. Hello, sir. How are you doing, sir? I bid you welcome. How are you doing? I am Gilbert Dracula Godfrey. <laughs> Are you a black man? Yes, I am. I am too under this makeup. Now, do you believe that O.J. Simpson is innocent? Yes. Why do you believe he's innocent? Did you not see all the evidence? Not right, really. Not right, really? No. Is that a place in Hungary? Not right, really? Ask him if you can suck his neck. I was born in Rara, really. Ask him if you can suck his neck. Can I suck your neck? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You let O.J. Simpson suck your neck. Nope. <laughs> All right, you better get up here. You're bombing. Get up here. Uh, I told you it wouldn't work. Don't tell <laughs> How do I have one black woman here waiting? All right, quickly. Go, but come in. Dracula Godfrey. <laughs> go ahead, Dracula. Dracula Godfrey, go ahead. Are you a black woman? Yes, I am. Do you believe that O.J. Simpson is guilty? Um, I... I wait after the trial. I don't know. <laughs> what is your best guess? Uh, what is your best guess, the young gonna... black woman? <laughs> She's gonna slog him. Probably guilty. Ah! Oh! Probably guilty. We have found a black woman who believes that O.J. Simpson is guilty. <laughs> Give her a round of applause. Thank you, uh, Dracula Godfrey. Now get Thank up here you. quick for the news. <laughs> the great Dracula Godfrey. He went back into the makeup for that. That was good. I want to see that. I'm going to tell him the bomb. Oh, you're going to kill him. I know. No. <laughs> he can't take that. You know it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Dracula Godfrey. And he's about three feet tall. I know, he's probably looking up to everybody yeah, right. he's interviewing. And, he sit, he, and you notice how he behaves? Oh, yeah. In front of black he people? He immediately got into line. What did oh. I tell you? He'd be oh. politically correct. No, you're a Negro. I mean a black person. I mean a black African. <laughs> I'm too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right on. <laughs> I'd just like to see him squirm. <laughs> So what else is in the news, Robin? Of course, O.J. Simpson is in the news. His trial continues with more and more news coming forward. 
today in the Post, Cindy Adams claims that there is a drug dealer who has stashed himself away in Miami. What'd I tell you? And claims that he sold O.J. crystal meth, not at a McDonald's, as he claimed to have visited on the night Nicole was murdered, but outside of a Burger King. He's uh -huh. driving in his Bentley along with Kato Kalen. Yeah. This guy says that Cato witnessed the uh, transaction, mm -hmm. that uh, the drug dealer says he still has the $100 bill that O.J. used to pay for the cocaine, I mean the meth, the crystal meth, and that he has his beeper number. Still lodged in his beeper, he has taken a polygraph test, which he has oh, uh, passed. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were brilliant. You were brilliant out there. Gilbert, it was a brilliant idea. Wow. Not You're really funnier. smart to go do that. Oh, yeah. Nothing funnier. <laughs> it was an extraordinary idea. Hey, Gilbert, not only yes. was that good, but could you come in tomorrow as Granny Clampett? <laughs> We could send you dressed up down on the street to interview black people. Boy, did you behave yourself in front of black people. <laughs> Man. Yes. You were really a... Oh, I'm a Negro, too, under here. Yeah, I'm yeah. black like you, brother. Yeah, brother. <laughs> yes, brother. <laughs> hey, you know, let me tell you something. There's a lot of people in this OJ case who are guilty of hiding the facts. And they are despicable. Well, this uh, drug dealer is saying that he thinks that Cato Kalin should sing when he gets on the You're show. damn right he should. Cato has never said that uh, O.J. was buying drugs at the time they took that little ride in the Bentley the night uh, Nicole was murdered. But this Cato rot in hell if he's lying. He is to be the next witness. Right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> but the Cato rot in hell. The drug dealer is asking <laughs> for immunity in order to testify. He doesn't want to do anything to incriminate himself. Immunity. Immunity. But he's hiding out now, afraid for his life, I guess. He's a fair, foul, false, things evading man. <laughs> Dan, Dan. <laughs> hey. so, yes. So anyway, Cato Kalen, as I said, will be the next uh, witness in the case after Tom Lang. They get through grilling Tom Lang, the detective. Yeah. Johnny Cochran uh, trying to make mincemeat of his testimony yesterday. Johnny Cochran. Cochran? <laughs> yes. No, Cochran. Ah, uh, Johnny Cochran. <laughs> Johnny. My lawyer is Johnny Cochran. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good. How come you You know what? I think black people steal your powers. It's like kryptonite. Black people like kryptonite to uh, Gilbert Godfrey. All his humor goes. Yeah, right. Uh, excuse me, um, do you think O.J. is innocent? <laughs> he's standing uh, over... Uh, brother. Uh, brother. Do you think? He's standing a hundred feet away. John is talking to the Negro. Yeah, right. Oh, he is a black man. <laughs> <laughs> when they get close. Yeah. When they're in Asia. Oh, there's a black man. Oh, I, I, love, I love the Jeffersons. <laughs> <laughs> so you say that uh, there were some uh, new allegations. Yes, and not only that, I was talking about Cato Kalin taking the stand next. He is um, also just continuing to pursue his showbiz career. I see that uh, he has been photographed for the New Yorker, a New York magazine, by the uh, famed photographer Annie Leibovitz. She's disgusting. And that miserable has... Jew. <laughs> <laughs> and that he has a rap group. Who? Kato K. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm not kidding. Look oh, at the papers, right? do you have a, a tape of that? No, I don't have a tape. They just have a picture of him and his uh, fellow rap artist. That's outrageous. <laughs> So he's continuing, you know, and he has a whole new look. We were discussing that the other day. He now looks like Brad Pitt with, the, yeah. you know, the long hair, and it's all nicely uh, colored. Right. Got a whole new uh, wardrobe. Hmm. I don't know how he and where he's getting this money. Cato seems to live no matter uh, what. Isn't that a great life? Like, you just kind of live on somebody's estate, and they just let you hang out and junk? That's Cato Cato. I'd like to find a murderer to live with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Help him out. <laughs> So anyway... Murderer please. who gets me women, gets me on TV. Too bad John Wayne Gacy's not alive anymore. Yeah, because he can work at his estate. Yes, <laughs> put him up as a house guest. Right. Do a little gardening. Uh, Tom Lang, the detective, was again on the stand yesterday. Here's a little bit of the testimony. Johnny Cochran did get... Johnny Cochran. <laughs> Johnny Cochran. Yes. Did get him... Johnny Cochran. 
That. <laughs> oh, oh, the quiet. evil Johnny Cotter. <laughs> hey, he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a piece of work. <laughs> Go Let ahead. me okay. tell you what he got him to admit, please. <laughs> okay. He got him to admit that the coroner had some uh, somewhat <laughs> bot the uh, examination of the bodies by destroying or throwing away the stomach contents. And he also admits here that uh, they didn't get that blood off the gate for yeah. some time after their investigation of the murder scene was over. Well, the defense would be happy that the police didn't get all the other evidence because if they had, they'd probably well, OJ be in the electric chair. To me, that the uh, you know there's there's a good uh, case here for saying that despite all the um, screw ups, yeah, they still found OJ's blood <laughs> all over the place. I think after a while, he just said, you know, we don't need much more evidence. <laughs> I directed him to do that, and I believe I mentioned uh, to check the entire gate. All right. And you expect right. that to be done, isn't that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, it was not done on June 13th, was it? No. In fact, hmm. it was not done hmm. until July 3rd. I mean, three weeks later, is that right? That's correct. Uh -huh. And I know what's going on in the minds of those female black jurors. Oh, what? That is a fine brother. Look at him questioning them police and getting them all nuts. Look at him. He speaks well, wears a nice suit, and a handsome man. And he is getting those police to break down. O.J. Edison. Lawyer. And then Cochran makes the case. O.J. is going to walk. Cocker makes the case that uh, that blood could have happened or been put on that gate at any time. Now, with regard to blood spots and blood drops, you can't tell the date that blood was placed there, can you? Blood. Blood. You can't really tell the age, no. no. I never drink blood. Now, in regard to blood spots and blood clots, <laughs> you never really do know where they be laying, do you? And what time they got there with the Would blood clots and the down blood spots? The yeah. in, in that character? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, excuse me. Now, excuse me, uh, Mister. <laughs> Do you think that the OJ is in it? Didn't get this. Meanwhile, but, it seems that they have another put me in witness. Black up on the street. Maybe it'll be safer. <laughs> yeah. They see. They seem to have another reluctant witness for the defense. Uh, there's a woman, Kathleen Bell, who uh, it was claimed by the prosecution doesn't want to testify, but the defense does say she wants to testify that this is not true. Kathleen Bell is expected to testify that Mark Furman, the, one of the detectives in the case, made some uh, racially disparaging comments to her at some time. Hmm. So the O.J. case continues. All right, well, well, you watch that, Gilbert, on TV? Oh, constantly. Yeah, you don't yeah. even have a TV, do you? No. <laughs> a lot of arguing going on in Congress. Uh, the House of Representatives continuing to move along on their contract with America. But uh, there seems to be a little bit of a problem. They say that, you know, they're slashing and cutting, and now the Democrats are saying they're going to rob young children of those uh, hot lunches <laughs> they get in school. Yeah, like that's a prize. And that, should, uh, should I go interview black people on the street and ask <laughs> them if they rob young children? <laughs> Pizza and cheese sticks. So they uh, were uh, arguing a little bit about this. So they won't be able to have those little fish sticks with the uh, orange juice that and you that, peel. And, and that pizza, of them. that great pizza. Yes. Yeah. So here's a little bit of the debate that was going on. The this pizza is and an English muffin. Congressman William Goodling... <laughs> who is then interrupted by uh, Representative by Dracula. George Miller. Okay. If uh, I was employed in USDA, I'd put out those kind of figures, too, because there's a good possibility that quite a few of them will lose their job. So uh, I would put out as much false information. No, that's really, as, that's really, as much you don't false know information, this information as I is should. False. We have no indication. And you have no idea no, whether the information we have is correct. We went through this before. No. <laughs> I love a good argument. And, uh, yeah, but what's your story? Are you political at all? Oh, yes, very. No, come on. I mean, are you like a, a registered Republican or Democrat? I'm against Hitler. No, come on. We're, uh, we're, uh, do you have any political none, none, feelings? None. I don't understand Did you vote in the last election? 
Oh, yeah. Did yeah. you really? Yeah, for Eisenhower. No, come on, did you? No. This is where he gets yeah, goofy. Now yeah, now he, he cannot be <laughs> yeah. interviewed. He no. can't be interviewed. That's right. We can't know anything about Gilbert. <laughs> like, like, like the whole world's He's waiting. so mysterious. Look at this, seriously. Do you ever get involved politically? No. And do you ever vote? No. You really don't? Nothing. Because I can't see Gilbert even, even knowing how to register vote. No, you think he doesn't vote at all? You really don't vote, seriously? I go behind the curtain and try on pants. I just thought that, like, maybe you... No, I can't see Gilbert going and voting. So you've never voted for any of the presidents? Yeah, Gilbert couldn't buy a thermometer when he was sick. <laughs> so I think he's voting. But seriously, have you ever voted? I didn't even know they had those thermometers in regular stores. <laughs> have you ever uh, registered to vote? Uh, yes. Oh, you have? Yes. Oh, so you did vote? Yeah. I feel like I'm playing Watch My Line. No, but did you really vote? Uh, no. You didn't? No. Okay, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did vote? Yeah, who cares? Yeah. You know what? Who cares? Like, like who gives a world, rat's ass? The world is anxiously no, but I mean, it would be kind of... Yes. Well, I'd all be curious the people to know. you influence, Gilbert. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all of your fans. <laughs> you control so many votes. Yes. Yeah. Boy, if I named a candidate, he'd get nervous. <laughs> he was going to vote, but there were black people there and he left. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mackerel. Feet don't fail me. Anyway, uh, what else is in the news? That grand jury over in New Jersey investigating Kelsey Grammer, the star of the NBC TV show Frasier, will be hearing from the 17-year-old girl who claims that she had a sexual affair. My hero. With Grammer today. <laughs> was she 17? Oh, now she's 17. Now she's 17. She was 15. She was 13. Oh, 15. What goes through a guy? Like, what's with that guy? I mean, I don't isn't know, this like the 19th thing that he's been in trouble for? Yeah, well, he's had his bouts with drugs and ex-wives and all of that. Can you talk slowly about the sex with the 13-year-old? It was 15. Yeah. You know, oh, 15. Like, yeah. Not make it worse yeah. than Oh, well, that ruins it. <laughs> She was but she had the body of a 12-year-old. She was babysitting for his 9-year-old uh, daughter yeah. when they met. They have a number of uh, cassette tapes that bear Grammer's phone answering machine messages left for the young girl. And that's the... Um, and who would be that stupid to leave phone answering major, messages? Uh, the major uh, evidence. evidence in this case. They say that they uh, are of a sexual nature. The girl will testify. She had, at first, had, uh, denied that there had been any sex between them. Hmm. But after a year of therapy, she has now come forward and said they made love at least three times while she was 15 years old. Gilbert, you ever have a 13-year-old? Uh, no, no. Ten is the drop-off point for me. <laughs> any <laughs> older than ten, off. they 13, they're all used yeah. up. Yeah. All right. He's a pedophile. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of it. Yeah, damn proud of Grammar it. says that this never happened and that the uh, family is just... He was to teaching her grammar. He money from him. He's a young girl, so he came over so she could learn grammar. <laughs> so anyway, we'll have to see if any charges come out of that grand jury investigation. What a way to mess up a perfectly good career. <laughs> he's been trying yeah. for quite some time. He won't be happy until he's off television Absolutely. and in jail. The drugs weren't enough. Now he has to have a 13-year-old. Right. Yeah. He got past all that stuff only to have this now. As you pointed out this morning in page six, they say that uh, Jan Winter, the publisher of Rolling Stone, has been outed by the British press. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> in the uh, British newspaper, The Mail, they say that his wife, Jane... Jane and Jan... Couldn't take it when he started fooling around with uh, 28 year old former model Matt Nye. Mm. Oh, so I guess that means he's gay. <laughs> yeah. You fool around with one model, one yeah. male model, and right away they pin you gay. Unwisely. He had uh, several considerations. There are three children. She didn't want them teased by schoolmates who discovered that uh, their father was gay. Kids don't, kids don't tease about stuff like that. <laughs> Did she get suspicious when the Boy Scout troops started coming over? <laughs> you know what's weird about that, though, seriously? I mean, what, what, who is the newspaper guy that takes pleasure in wrecking a guy's entire life? Who is the, who is the newspaper guy? That feels it's important to out Jan Wenner. Well, it would be Richard Johnson who's telling America. Yeah, but we what can't was the... read the uh, British, the mail. Yeah, but it's out already, so might as well just <laughs> tell it. Ah, I see. Well, I hear Jan uh, has been so disgraced that he'll be appearing in public as Dracula now. <laughs> 
Never show his face again without makeup. Yeah, interviewing black people. <laughs> Very few people have disgraced themselves that way. <laughs> Only those in, in dire, dire <laughs> straits. <laughs> You have to be in pretty bad shape to go out and do Your something. Your career's got to be real mess to go do something like that. Only divorced homosexuals. Which right. Is a thing like yeah. that. Very, very few yeah. people do that. This uh, new romance between Gilbert Senator and Alphonse Fred. Yeah. Oh. This is something that Gilbert ought to do. Yes, yes. Hook up with a socialite. Yeah, how about it's hook up? Really <laughs> <laughs> how about hook really? up with that guy Jan Winner was going out with? <laughs> really improve your career. Right. Uh, we seem to still be fascinated by the romance between Senator Al D'Amato and Claudia Cohen. Yes. Today in the Post, they analyze this whole situation. Once again, they're, they're hounding the current Mrs. D'Amato. You make her look who miserable. Who is not a public person. Right. And taunt her, they do, with these questions as to how she feels about her husband's desire to get an annulment so that his marriage to Claudia Cohen can be accepted by the church. This is how despicable reporters are. Now, think about this job. Now, come on, be serious for a second. I know. I had experience as a reporter just today. That's right. Yeah. You were out there on the street. You know what it's like. So, you can relate. so a senator, a United States senator says he's in love with someone high profile, a woman on the Regis and Kathy Lee show, Claudia Cohen, wealthy woman, okay? The guy's been separated now for 13 years. His wife and him pretty much, you know, worked out their situation, whatever it is. His wife's a private person. So it comes out that the senator now wants to marry Claudia Cohn. So what does a reporter do? They go and torture the senator's wife from 13 years ago. They go into her. They go by her house and torture her and keep asking her over and over again, "How do you feel? Yeah. How do you feel?" She feels great. She finally said to him, "Look, why don't you go talk to the two people who are holding press conferences and leave me alone?" Yeah, I'm not looking to talk to you. I'm a private person. Imagine if you got a girl, Gilbert, <laughs> and then you he broke up with her. Well, now, now you're just talking crazy. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, I can't talk to you about this because yeah. you would never break up with a girl yeah. because you're just trying to get one. Yeah. Right. But imagine you got a, a girl and then you broke up. and then Welcome the press... to the science fiction hour. All right, so forget <laughs> okay. it. There's yeah. no talking to you about yeah. this. Absolutely not. He can't relate. No, he can't. <laughs> By the way, Gilbert will be on Married with Children this Sunday on Fox. And be a Catch a Rising Star tomorrow night in Princeton, New Jersey, and Saturday night at uh, Catch a Rising Star in somewhere, Morristown, New Jersey. Somewhere. Go look, <laughs> somewhere. For, him. Go look for him in Morristown. Somewhere. somewhere. And at uh, the Governor Werner Morris Hotel. <laughs> Governor Morris? Governor, oh, Governor Morris Hotel. <laughs> Governor <laughs> Who can Morris. read this? <laughs> well, anyway. What else is in the news? Daryl Strawberry, I told you yesterday, said that he played drunk while he was on the 1986 uh, Met, the World Series championship team. And uh, yesterday there was a lot of fallout. He's uh, made these allegations of a drunken team in a new article that's to appear in uh, Sports Illustrated next week. Now other former members of the team are coming forward to say if Dell played drunk, that's his business, and he wants to admit that, that's fine. He can't speak about what the others of us were doing. Hmm. So there. He's out on the limb by himself. Nobody's coming out to support him in these allegations. Did Not ever, making many friends. Have you ever taped up all night drunk? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it would really make a difference. <laughs> people would know. The quality would drop. Understood. Yes. <laughs> well, I noticed that. Didn't the people at uh, Up All Night once say to you they had noticed the quality drop? Oh, yes. They, they said they thought I was walking through it. Gilbert almost got fired from that job. They said that Gilbert was walking through his appearances on Up All Night, yes. which is, it, it, is, is like, what? Who would even know? <laughs> you were actually watching? It's the worst show on the planet. Yeah. What, what, who cares if Gilbert walks through? Who's watching, let alone yeah. knows if I'm walking they, through? They actually pulled him aside and yelled at him. Yeah. And what'd you do? Did you do anything special? No, no. no. I didn't change it at all. But, <laughs> yeah. but everything's fine. But then after they told me, they felt like, ah, oh, see, now you can see the difference. Right, yeah, yeah. they felt better about yeah. it. Yeah. Now you can see he's putting a lot more intensity in it. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, we're having trouble with our friends, the French. Ugh. Five uh, United States citizens have been thrown out of Paris. Of course. After being accused of spying. Like, like the French have a secret. <laughs> the secret is they have no secrets. Like, like they have, what are the, what, spying on who? The French, I guess. Oh, spying on the French. We want to find out a lot about the French. Yeah, we want to find out how to retreat during a war. Yes. 
We want to find out how to be friends with the Nazis. Right. <laughs> hey, how do you collaborate with the Nazis and produce products for them at, at record high levels? The French are claiming that their dismissal was just a recommendation. We recommend mm. that you leave. They didn't... Uh, Believe me, there's no secrets that the French have. the Americans. Yeah, but, but we, 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 were, we were looking at the new fashions. We were going to steal them. How do you get the United States is not uh, we're, we're sending spies to find world. out how long they can go without bathing. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at all happy. I mean, the United States is not at all happy with the way the French have handled not. these allegations. The French hate us for no reason. We protected them and saved their ass time and time again. And all they do is spit on us because we are crass and our culture sucks. I say let them all die. We In, bathe too often. Yeah. Interior Minister Charles soap. Pesquois accused Americans of having committed acts of interference that include trying to enlist aid to top ministers. So that's what we're doing over there, yeah. trying to win influence. Yeah, with the French. I hate the French. Thank you. Yes. I hate the French. Thank so, you, Gilbert Trackler. Yes. I hate the French. <laughs> Here we go again. I hate the friend. With the friend. <laughs> Did you see Ed Wood? No. you got to get that. No, it's like $8. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll lend it to you. Yeah. If you have a tape around, maybe I'll watch it. i got to play this for Gilbert. We love this. Oh. I have no home. <laughs> Hunted. Best. By the Negro. Living like an animal. <laughs> the jungle is my home. Going out to the street. Interviewing black people. That I can be a master. Gilbert can't handle the competition. Yes. Yeah. So he's talking over. He's talking the over the great, the great scene from Ed Wood. Yes, the great Martin Landau. Yeah. Who Gil did the role so much better than you. Gilbert, <laughs> Gilbert feels he could have done it. Yes. <laughs> when he ran out on the street, he actually got black people to answer. That's right. <laughs> Anything else in the news, Robin? Unfortunately, um, new statistics show that almost half of all black children are living in poverty. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because so many of them. Stop it. Cal get, calm yourself. Get a hold of yourself, then, Gilbert. He thinks the show's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He likes our humor. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because so many children are being raised in single parent families. That's right. There's a big problem with that. There's a big problem with that. <laughs> There'll be a big problem with that. Oh, yeah. We got to deal with our family. We we got to find out who our pappy is. <laughs> if all of us would stay with our family, then we wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> if I could instigate this allegation for a second. Yes. Black, yeah. black people are going to beat you up. <laughs> I want to just be behind Gilbert as he walks right. out. The street. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so there's some shocking news that yes. the reason that there's a lot of black kids who who have don't have it together is because the fathers don't stay with the family. Well, I didn't say anything about having it together. I'm simply right. telling you they live in poverty. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm tickling your fancy today, Jackie. All right. Very good. There's some news that I didn't know. <laughs> Very sad. Very sad statement. Very, Very sad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what were you more shocked by, that story or the Luganus AIDS story? <laughs> All right. There's one final story I really want to do, but I need to run and get it because it's not in here. Where is it? Uh, far? Is it in your apartment? No, it's in the next room. Oh, so go ahead. I'll kill some time with a couple of OOs. I'll give you a couple of plugs. You know how we love these um, <laughs> stories of marital discord. Yeah. Oh, oh. This is from El Paso, Texas. A marital dispute prompted a man to shoot his wife, chop up her body, 
and paint the parts and attempt to conceal the evidence. <laughs> she must have really been nagging him. <laughs> what it, what? it all started as a family dispute, Howard. I see. <laughs> James pa pra look, Patrick Bradley had a history of domestic violence. He's been arrested a number of times. And what did the wife say? He was a former driver for a county drug and alcohol abuse center and remained in El Paso County Jail since his arrest on Tuesday in lieu of $1 million bond. He's charged with murdering his wife, who was an actress. Parts of the woman's body turned up in plastic bags, cardboard boxes, or blankets in various public places. Oh, well, I wish him luck in picking up the pieces. <laughs> in some cases, the parts were brightly painted. <laughs> when I was in Vietnam, we used to chop up goats and paint their parts, and that was just like a regular Saturday afternoon. Nobody thought twice. Was he a vet? Police alleged that Bradley, who was disabled and uses either a wheelchair or a walker, okay. shot his wife five times in the chest with a small caliber handgun the day after Valentine's Day. Wow. That's not a gun so well. he must have had a nice meal. Right. <laughs> he's gone to sleep, and then he got up and killed her. Wow. <laughs> Bradley is now on medication and under the care of a doctor. <laughs> According to police, he was arrested three times in 1989 to 1990 on domestic dispute charges involving his first wife. None of those charges ended in conviction, though. They zeroed in on Bradley as more and more parts of her body <laughs> continued to be deposited near the area of his house. Well, you have to hand it to her. <laughs> a realistic composite drawing taken from a photograph of the severed head of the victim was shown on local television on Monday, prompting her family and friends to call an identifier. So what do you do with the good part? <laughs> What do you do with that? Did he paint he that blue? He Gilbert Gottfried. What do you do with the Kluge? What do you do with the Kluge? Yeah. Where's the Kluge? Where's the Kluge? How could you throw away a perfectly good Kluge? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he didn't. They don't say that he sent all of her parts away. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kluge. Kluge. Police blue know. Kluge. I get out of my coffin and search. Or Kluge. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be attached to the rest of the body. As long as it's a Kluge with hair on it. Oh, that that looks like a werewolf. The alleged killer was trying to cover his tracks. So he spray painted the body parts because I he see. thought it was going to destroy or conceal the evidence. Well, I, I don't think that he's guilty. It just drew Because I him. think it was the white cop who sprayed about it, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's happened. Thank you, Robin. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dracula Gottfried. Yes. Uh, Gilbert Definitely Gottfried. Definitely the best idea you've had. Now, I'll think of some more. <laughs> yes. Uh, let me just say that uh, Gilbert will be on Married with Children this Sunday on Fox. Everyone looking forward to that. More good acting like he did on Channel 9 a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> him and Jackie. On, uh, Married with Children acting some more. Gilbert proving he'll take any job. <laughs> Where did you get those gold coins? <laughs> Did you steal money from me? Anyway, uh, Friday on Catch a Rising Star, the Hyatt in Princeton, New Jersey, it's Gilbert. And Gilbert moves over to Catch a Rising Star at the Governor Morris Hotel in Morriston, New Jersey, Saturday night. Are you telling me it was a conspiracy? Jackie, like you took the gold coins from me. Jackie the Joke Man Marlowe is uh, ordering a wild comedy CD or cassette. I mean, is rather selling you a wild comedy CD or cassette. It is ten dollars plus three dollars shipping and handling. Joke Land special: buy two get one free. Call one eight hundred three two three King. This Saturday, Jackie, big show at Vans in Freehold, New Jersey. And Jackie. What's wrong, the old lady? You always had to hit him with a blackjack. For filthy jokes and info, call 516-922-WINE. Remember, five, Can we get a dressing room? 516-922-WINE is not a pay service. So Jackie, when you acted with Jackie on that Channel 9 show, did uh, did, did he ask for a dressing room? Uh, yeah, on, on the plane over, first of all, I'm trying to look at the script, and he's going, Do you understand this? My <laughs> wife said it should end differently. Hey, his oh, wife. no, his wife is rewriting. Oh, boy. You are out of your mind. Oh, man. I found, I found the only bigger glom than me in the world. Jackie and Gilbert did this TV show together, which, you know, I guess they got a hold of them. They were trying to get some heat for it. That UPN network yes. that nobody watches, the Paramount network. So, Why are you screaming? Gilbert evidently took the job and 
Jackie gets, takes any job. And Jackie <laughs> takes any job. How'd they go? So, uh... They basically did. Uh, it was it was like loud and louder. He, he was asking these questions like, "Do we have to learn the dialogue?" Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> did you just fly out together, or did you meet up there? You flew out together. Lying yes. little oh. complaining bastard. <laughs> he says to you, "Do we have to memorize the script?" Oh, that's that, oh, it's just and then he's saying his wife critiqued the script. I spent six <laughs> hours on a plane yeah. next to him, <laughs> and he's going to complain about me. My Hey, <laughs> great. Yeah, why don't they fly her out as you a script consultant? You will never know how long a flight to Las Vegas is to sit next to Gilbert. Did you take your wife with you, Jackie, or you went yourself? No, Gilbert was my wife. Uh, <laughs> and did you guys hang out on the set together? I, endlessly. Yeah. Really? We spent three months together for two days. <laughs> was it was a bad? We had a great, great time. I, I had a great time. I can't, I can't speak for Gilbert. We had a fabulous time, Howard. <laughs> yeah. uh, I read the script and I fell in love with it. Did you entertain him? Did you ask what, what Nancy thought the ending should be? <laughs> yeah, did you actually carry that conversation Making on? that up for you. My wife said it should end differently than that. <laughs> See Baba Booey this Saturday at the Javits Convention Center in Manhattan from noon to two for the New York comic book Spectacular. I'm an idiot. I'm a friggin' idiot. <laughs> and to get a signed copy of Stuttering John CD, call 201-942-OUCH. <laughs> But it's just hard to, you know, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to completely disassociate yourself with you. <laughs> what? If you're planning a wedding or party and you need a DJ, call Scott the Engineer's Rocket Entertainment at 718-BAG-5040. My wife said I don't need a DJ. We're going to, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, um, Dracula Godfrey. Yes. <laughs> Any last words for our audience? Who die? Who be easy day? <laughs> Most be glorious. There are far worse things awaiting us than that. Fantastic. We'll see you tomorrow.